and how are you able to charge your clients these much lower discretionary fees? So coming from a technology and change background, when we joined the firm and started designing the operating model, I had a vision that we were going to use a front-to-back software provider to provide the services and we went to market with an RFP which was really looking for a platform to cater for our core requirements of CRM trading, reporting and client integration. And We looked across the market both in the UK and Europe and, and weren't really finding a suitable solution that could meet our requirements. So being a, a new firm we were fortunate that we, we didn't come with a lot of legacy systems or technical debt. So we took the decision to actually build and design some of the system ourselves due to the fact that we were going to be custodian agnostic. So again, the, the technology was listening to the business and we couldn't find a platform that met our needs. So we embraced the Microsoft Cloud technology through the use of both Office 365 and Azure platforms, which provide us with a, a secure and stable and, and infinitely scalable platform. So sitting behind the two-factor authentication, we're able to build secure services that are then elastically scalable on both the front and back office side. So what we've developed is a system that is custodian agnostic, and that means that we can keep the cost down by rapidly integrating new clients and custodians and then automating some of the heavier lifting processes such as trading, reconciliation, client reporting and invoicing. And we've kept that focus of, of automation across the rest of the business and have applied it to other processes such as client onboarding where we use Adobe Sign and, and e-signatures. And that really gives us huge operational leverage that we can bring on additional clients and, and a homogenous operating model across both the discretionary and fund management business and that keeps the fees down.